Welcome, dear colleagues. Greetings from Bangladesh. I'm Professor Dr. Muhammad Samuel Haq, now working as a president in Psoriasis Awareness Club, Bangladesh. I am a dermatologist as well as I has a public health background. So my focus of interest is the improvement of quality of life of psoriasis patient in developing countries. So I choose this subject because in the developing country, the treatment strategy is indifferent and there is no concrete base on that. So my topic today, I will discuss the treatment strategies of psoriasis in developing countries. This is a, uh, may you can say it's a recommendation to all the developing countries. They can do their own protocol. But for me, I think I have selected some of the points and I discussed this one in this lecture. Let me start my lecture. What who WHO says about healthcare? Improving human health and providing access to affordable, high quality healthcare is a key concern of all countries. First, the challenge healthcare face is to provide universal coverage and equal access to medical service for all. Without effective health coverage, people have to pay for care out of their pocket. So what are the drawbacks of healthcare in developing countries? Inadequate infrastructures, population bed ratio is not adequate, doctors, nurse ratio is not also adequate. There is a regional discrimination. The budget is very low. The low health expenditure is there. There's a scarcity of drugs, high cost of rare drugs, high treatment cost, unused of medical equipment in the public hospital due to lack of manpower. Patients were deceived by fraud to reach proper doctor and diagnosis. This is the scenario of developing countries' health system. So WHO has proposed that the key center of health system in developing country should be primary health care, where the patient use first visit that area and for they will get the treatment first. This primary healthcare service ranges from mental health, rehabilitation, immunization, vaccination, maternal and child healthcare, to prevention and control of disease, as well as reference. Primary healthcare is the key center of healthcare in developing countries. So what about the NCD in primary health care? is a very important thing because non-communicable disease in developing country in the primary health care center, it is not so much visible because non, this developing country is fighting with the communicable diseases. So they have no chance to put these NCD programs in their health system. So primary health care where there is a feasible, affordable, and equitable option for reaching people in need of healthcare or NCD in some developing countries, there is. But most of the developing countries do not have adequate capacity to ministries of health to formulate evidence-informed policies and statistic plan and have limited access to and use of quality data for informing policy and strategy development. No NCD in primary health care in most of the developing countries. 
So about the strategies of management of psoriasis, let us do like this. Let us do strategies in the primary level. We can do strategies in the secondary or intermediate level or in, in the third, that is the tertiary level. So in the primary level, what we can do, most of the health provider in primary or rural level have very least knowledge about psoriasis. In primary level, first priority is to educate them, motivate them, aware them about psoriasis. This is completely a new subject to them. Home to involve in training local health provider. Primary health center doctors, they should initiate first as a chief coordinator. They can train the local health related NGOs, local national psoriasis awareness societies, primary health care personals, and NCD program managers to develop skilled person. Method of training should be like distributing leaflet, arranging training program, distributing picture booklets of psoriasis, awareness to school teachers and elite person. What they will aware the patient when they will visit the center, when they will diagnose as a psoriasis case, the health personnel should aware them that it is a scaly skinny disease. It is not a contagious disease. It is not eczema. It is not a curable disease. Easy to treat in mild cases, but when the disease is severe, it is a burden to the person and it deteriorates the quality of life if not treated. You can give the advice in the primary level. They can, you can get, you can educate them. You can ask them to keep in stress-free life, avoid excessive sun exposure, avoid allergic food, avoid eating, plenty of moisturizer, applied steroid as prescribed, other topicals if available. So what the health provider will do in primary health centers, they can maintain the registry, diagnosis of the psoriasis can be done there, assessment of the disease severity can be done there, treatment, they can give the treatment there, counseling the patient, follow up the patient, if necessary, they can refer to the dermatologist in the intermediate level. So there should be in the primary level, a specific protocol of treatment that is limited medication they can apply there. Usually in mild cases, they can apply emollients. A lot of emollients are available in the rural areas. They can use that one. They can use corticosteroid in supervised way. They can use salicylic acid. They can use calcineural inhibitors cold tar shampoo they can use, but there should be a monitoring. A reg regulatory body should be there to see if there is any malpractice there, maltreatment is there, or under treatment, or any patient develop complication with that. It has to be monitored in the rural area because a lot of malpractice is doing in the underdeveloped country in the root level. And the moderate and severe cases, they can be referred with the basic treatment to the higher center. They can screen the comorbidities if they have any. So regarding the primary, we have already covered. Now we can have a strategies in the intermediate or tertiary level. The place where this strategies is applicable is in the public hospitals, private hospitals, GP center, the specialist dermatologist center, rheumatologist clinic, where they should have update knowledge of psoriasis by lecture, seminars, conference to healthcare providers. Dermatologists should take upper hand. They can put a psoriatic clinic 
in their center. The service they can provide, they have to maintain the registry, they have to uh, examine the patient, and they can assess the severity of the patient. They have to know the risk and aggravating factor of that patient. They can diagnose, if needed, they can do the investigation. They can assess the comorbidities and needed, they can give the treatment. The treatment principle in the tertiary level should be patient education first. Treatment should be combined decision between patient and the healthcare provider. Treatment goal achieved should be monitored regularly to detect loss of response, which may necessitate modification of therapy. They should have a concrete a prescribed guideline in the tertiary centers, specifically for developed country. This guideline I have chosen, it is made by Malaysian guideline of psoriasis, and it is a very wonderful, uh, nice guideline they have shown. And some thing can be changed from country to country, like in Bangladesh, we don't have phototherapy in our intermediate or tertiary level. Only few phototherapies in one or two hospitals are there. But in Malaysia, phototherapy is the intermediate, in the intermediate level they are using. But so in our country, after using the tropical treatment, we straight jump to the systemic therapies. The systemic therapy, we have to uh, give the priority in our country. Like this, other country can choose their own protocol about the biologics. Yes, those people who can afford the biologics, they can be given in underdeveloped country. In developing country, definitely a lot of people, if they are counseling well, they can take the biologics and they are getting the beautiful result with these drugs. So lastly, my last slide is, it is my recommendation that psoriasis should include it in the national NCD program of all developing country. National registry should be maintained, larger epidemiological studies to know the true size and impact of the problem, awareness program to all healthcare provider and primary healthcare physicians, specialized Referral centers should grow up. Patient advocacy group should be developed. Management of comorbidities should be ensured. National psoriasis guideline and treatment protocol according to their own health system. Cost-effective treatment should be implemented. Multimedia campaign and awareness program should be there. Government should recognize psoriasis as a disabling disease needing early diagnosis and treatment. There must be a regulatory body to control maltreatment, undertreatment, or misuse of drugs. Involvement of stakeholder for support should be motivated. By this, I want to end my lecture. Thank you very much, all who are listening. I want to mention that I am newly recruited, nominated as a counselor in International Psoriasis Council this time. Thank you very much to the authority.